Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm just going to talk about my February favorites. I didn't do a January favorites because most times I only have time to put on makeup during the weekends. So I felt like I didn't get a really good chance or anything like that to actually try out a lot of products enough. So now that two months have gone by, <laughs> I can finally tell you all what I really really liked over the course of these two months I guess. So I just have a small lineup of products that I'm going to share with you all. And these products are the ones that kind of stuck out to me the most. So let's get started. Okay, so first up is this L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Setting Spray. This is, I believe, $14.99 at Walmart. And then at Select, Walgreens, and CVS. Sometimes it's like $16.99 or $17.99. So the price varies depending on where you shop. But I got this from Walmart for $14.99. And I've actually been grabbing this a lot more than my Scandinavia one. And I'm really liking it. I don't know why. Oh, actually, I forgot to set my makeup today. Let me just go ahead. Um, but, yes, I don't know. I've actually really been liking this one. There's just something about it that I like more. It smells better than the Scandinavia. I feel like it's not as suffocating. I don't know, the Scandinavia one, if I like breathe in a bit too soon after I spray it, then it's like... <sighs> but this one, I can breathe in um, pretty soon after I spray it, and then I don't feel like I'm suffocating or inhaling too much of it, I guess. And I don't know, I just... I just like this one better and you do save money you know maybe like 10 15 dollars depending on where you buy this from but I've really been liking it and then next up is a tool I guess I've really been liking these cotton swabs I actually ordered them from I ordered them from Amazon these are the Momomuji cotton buds these are Japanese q-tips and they are just so good. I love them more than regular Q-tips. On Amazon, these were like $8 for 200, for 200 pieces. And these are wound, like apparently Japanese Q-tips are really, really good. And they're wound very well. So they don't come undone or loose or anything like that. But I love it for makeup because it, it kind of, if you get like mascara somewhere that it's not supposed to be there, you can lightly like wipe it and then it will wipe away that mascara without disturbing the rest of your makeup. So if you're like me and you put on foundation before you put on your eye makeup, then that would be very, very useful. And I don't know, these are just, these are amazing for cosmetic purposes. Sephora, they do have a charcoal one. You get like, I don't even remember. You don't get very many. It's like a third of this size and it's like $6. So just order from Amazon and get free shipping or something like that with your $35 purchase. So yes, these are great. Love it. And then next up, one of my favorites. I really, really love this RCMA Highlighting and Contouring Palette. Uh, sorry, the lighting's uneven. It's sundown. Let me close my blinds. Alright, that's better. Okay, so I've really been liking the RCMA Makeup highlighting and contouring palette. This is $30 and you can order it from Beautylish. They might have it on camera ready cosmetics. I'm not quite sure. But this is amazing. I love the shades and because it's cream, if you want to customize your own color, you can definitely do that. All you got to do is nick them all and then, you know, mix it up and everything like that. And I like it because the color choices are perfect. They have the cool tone to contouring shades, which is great. And then of the lighter shades, you have three different type of undertones. So it's really good for different uses if you like the banana type color or if you like the pink or the peachy kind of skin tone looking one. Then, you know, you can just, it's just so customizable because it is cream. And I mean, these, they just blend beautifully and they look so natural or they can look as dramatic as you want it as well. And it's just so easy to use. So this was definitely one of my favorites for this month. 
And then next up is the SkinCeuticals Physical Fusion UV Defense Sunscreen. This has SPF 50 and I actually ordered it from Skin Better, which is I believe in conjunction with Allure. This was $34 and then I think when you buy your first item or something, or when you sign up with Skin Better, you get like 20% off. So I ended up actually getting this for like $28 or something like that because you get like points and then I use some points towards shipping because I didn't feel like paying for shipping. So I think shipping was like $5 but I used like $5 worth of points to not pay for shipping. So I ended up paying $28 for this. Uh, this is really great. You get 1.7 fluid ounces worth of sunscreen and then you kind of have to like shake it so it sounds like it sounds like a paint bottle. But this is lightly, very lightly tinted and I mean, it is just, it's beautiful. It goes on kind of like a, it feels kind of like a serum and it's very, very thin. Here, let me show you. So you kind of just, okay, oops. So that's how it looks like. And then it's pretty thin. You can see it running down already, but you just kind of like put it on and it looks really good. But as you wear it longer throughout the day, at the end of the day, your skin will look so, I don't know, it just looks so good. It really evens out your skin tone, at least for me anyways. And it gives you this really nice, natural, luminous look. Like, you look so fresh. It gives you such a fresh look. And uh, it's not like super, I mean the tint isn't super pigmented. It does lighten me up a little bit. But it's just so pretty. I don't know. And it works really well. I think it's one of my favorite sunscreens, <laughs> but I guess definitely one of my favorites. So original price is $34. All right, and then next up is the Tarte Tartist Clay Paint Liner. I got this from Sephora. I think it was $24. It also comes with this liner brush, which I should probably wash soon, but it looks like this. Can you see it? I don't know where you can see it better, like against my skin. <laughs> but it looks like this. And this, I'm actually wearing it today. But I've actually been wearing it a lot more than my liquid liners. I don't know why. It's just, I feel like it's more work because you have this brush. So that way you have to like squeeze this and then use the brush and then apply it on. Because I mean, you know, yeah, that's kind of, yeah. But, <laughs> I don't know. I've been using this a lot more. The intensity... It can either be really nice and subtle or it can be very intense, you know, just kind of like liquid liner maybe. Um, but it's, I don't know, it's just really good. It looks like this, the, like the, uh, the tube and then you squirt it out this way and it kind of flares out and I feel, I feel like it flares out kind of like a plate or a really shallow bowl. So that way it catches the liner and then you can kind of just like, I don't know, like spread it out and thin it out so that way you don't overuse it too much. And since it has a cap, it doesn't dry out. So if you accidentally squeeze too much, then you can just leave it on there and use it next time. So I think that it's really, it's really good because it doesn't waste too much because since you have a cap, then you can reuse it later. And then it's a tube too, so that way you can squeeze everything out. But it's, really good. It stays on all day. I don't have any issues with it or anything like that. So this is, this is a goodie for me. And then next up is the Sonia Kashuk uh, Nude Matte. Eye on Neutral Matte Palette. <laughs> this is $20 from Target. These shades are really great. You have a good amount of warm toned and cold toned colors. They're all super pigmented. They're so silky, they're really blendable, and they stay on all day. I don't know. I'm wearing it today as well. Not on my lid. The sparkly thing on my lid is actually Essence All About Sunrise eyeshadow right here. So that is actually the sparkly stuff on my lid, but this is amazing. I really, really like it. Like, it is... I'm going to be doing a video on this soon so keep a lookout for that but this has been one of my favorites lately
And then next up is actually a really recent product. I got it in my February Pop Sugar Must Have. And it is the Fix and Rouge 100% Natural Lip Balm. This is in pomegranate and it is amazing. I think it retails for like $6, maybe $8. I don't remember how much it was, but it's below $10. Definitely below $10. And it's just really good. My lips have been in a terribly dry shape lately. And I think that's because I've been drinking a ton of tea because it's just so cold lately. I've been drinking a ton of tea versus water. And I have been replacing water with tea. And that's probably not good for me or and not good for my hydration. But I can't help it. It's just because like warm, like hot water just doesn't really taste that good. That might just be me. So I'm just like, let me just like stick my tea. Yeah. <laughs> but this has been amazing. I really, really like it. It is so good. And especially after you like scrub your lips and then you put this on, it is just, it is amazing. Amazing. I really like it. And then my last February favorite is the Milani Rose Powder Blush in Romantic Rose in number one. This one is, I actually have uh, Romantic Rose and Tea Rose and I really like this one a lot more for some reason and I think it's because it's so like it's just so warm and pretty like it's so pretty I don't even I don't know if you can see it it's on my middle finger but it goes on really nice and buttery it is I believe I got it for like 9.29 or something at like Walgreens but I know that CVS my local CVS is having buy one get one half off of Milani products so you can get it for kind of cheaper if you get like two uh, but it is really good. I really like these. So there are three of them. You should definitely get all three. I only have two because I'm like, I shouldn't buy any more blush. <laughs> but these are amazing. So, you know, you need to go get some because they're so worth it. And that concludes my February favorites. I didn't want to like overwhelm all of you guys with a lot of things, but these are the main items that really, really stuck out to me in these past two months because I've like, I've purchased so much and I haven't even gotten around to trying everything that I purchased. Like I am struggling to figure out what to show you all and I have been working on getting tutorials out there. It's just that sometimes I just don't know like if a lot of these things are gonna turn out good the first time you know the first time I use it and I don't want to show like demos and have it be a disaster uh, but those are what impressed me the most and just let me know your thoughts below in the comments give this a thumbs up if you liked it let me know what your favorite products of February are so subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time bye